The Uganda Civil Aviation Authority has revoked the air operator certificates for international operations of Air Uganda, Uganda Air Cargo and Transafric Uganda Limited. An international civil aviation organization audit revealed anomalies in safety standards of the airlines. But officials have refused to reveal the specific safety concerns. The auditors visited the industry. There are a number of things that they found on the ground that were not in conformity with what is expected. Some of these, uh, the Civil Aviation Authority had already raised them with the airlines when the audit took place. The auditors were also able to point out these deficiencies and it was pertinent for the state that uh, in the interest of safety, that action is taken in this respect. The most affected is Air Uganda, which has steadily grown its business while operating a regional network. Its grounding, though, is likely to impact on the airline's target passenger numbers, which have been growing at 20% per year. A statement issued by the airline says they would complete the processes required to resolve the matter in the shortest possible period. The three Ugandan best operators will now be required to undergo a recertification process. The airlines have been given a corrective action plan that they need to follow in order to be recertified. So withdrawal of the AOCs does not mean an end in itself for their operations. Uh, it is, however, they are required to follow the required procedures so as to be recertified. How long this will take, I cannot tell, but it is dependent on how soon they fulfill the international requirements. While Rwanda, Kenya, Tanzania and Ethiopia have successfully used aviation to force economic growth over the past decade. Uganda's involvement has lagged behind its neighbors. Some feel the safety decisions taken will provide reassurance in Uganda's aviation sector. Because of competition and losing money, they will do these things a little bit quicker by getting better equipment, by making sure the maintenance organization is good, by making sure that the people who are doing the work are also qualified. But, <clears throat> but at the same time, it will give confidence to the people who use the airline. Now imagine all of you going to travel between here, Nairobi, Dar es Salaam and everywhere. Uh, after, this, after they've gone through the exercise that's required, you'll be confident that it's, it's a safe airline. This East African country is well served by foreign carriers. A total of over 15 international airlines operate to and fro Uganda's Entebbe International Airport. The upturn in domestic flights is largely attributed to commercial exploration activities in the oil and gas sector but also a more buoyant tourism industry.